there is no way that the GMAT actually wants us to compute 1 over 200 plus 1 over 202 plus 1 over 203 plus 1 over 204 and so on all the way to 1 over 300. No way. And sure enough, if you glance at the answer choices, you'll notice that they are ranges. So uh, the trick in a question like this is to, on the one hand, pretend that all of those fractions are equal to the smallest of the lot, and on the other hand, pretend that they're all equal to the largest of the lot, and then infer that the true answer has to be somewhere in between those two extremes. So 1 over 201, that's a bit awkward. I'm just going to pretend that they're all equal to 1 over 200. So that's on the higher end. I've got how many terms total? A hundred terms, going from 201 to 300. That's a hundred terms. If they were all equal to 1 over 200, and I've got a hundred of them, that's a hundred over 200, or half. So that's the upper limit. Now let's all pretend that, uh, that all of the numbers are 1 over 300. So again, I've got a hundred of them, a hundred over 300, that's one third. So that's the lower end. Uh, so we're able to infer without doing any real math that M is somewhere in between one third and one half, which means the correct answer is A. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.